of the most basic functions that you can do in MailChimp is send a regular email campaign. So that's what we're doing in this video. So let's get started. Now, what do I mean by a regular email campaign? Well, that is MailChimp's version of a bulk email. A bulk email is when you send one email to all of your subscribers or lots of people or a certain segment of people in your list. So it's one email going to several people. That's a bulk email. All right, enough with the jargon. Let's get going on how we're actually going to accomplish this. So as we log into our MailChimp account here, we're going to be looking at the create button on the top left hand side. When you click on that create button, MailChimp made it very confusing all of a sudden. So what you need to do is click on where it says email, click inside there, and then you have more choices. You have regular, plain text, multivariate, and template. We're looking at regular. So let's click on regular. Then we're gonna give it an internal name. This is something that only you will see. So you wanna name it something that you will know once you see it in reports or you see it in the past, in the history of your emails that you'll recognize the content that was in that email. So our internal email name will be better biz email for July 12th. Let's click on begin. So from the left hand side, we'll click on two. We're going to click on add recipients. I'm going to select my test audience in the send to option. Here's where we can further define our audience and select a segment. By segmenting out your larger audience, you make sure you're targeting the right people for your campaign to increase engagement and conversions. So we're gonna click on the welcome tag. Once we have our segment selected, we also have an optional do not send to. So you could use that to further define who's going to get this email. Our next option is to personalize the send to field. I really recommend this because it's always a good idea to address your subscribers by their names. This simple gesture makes them feel valued and appreciated and it shows that you care about building a strong relationship with them. So we'll select that and we'll do first name. Click save. Now MailChimp will go through that and it will say, okay, here's who I have. I have one recipient that's gonna receive this and it's gonna be from my default email address. We can change that if you want to, like so. If the email you're putting in here is not verified yet, you'll have to go through that process first. And you'll get a little pop-up says, you know, hey, verify this email before we send something from it. Okay, we'll click save. Right up there with the content of your email, subject line. Subject line is what gets people to open up your emails. The subject line is your first impression, so make it compelling and relevant to your audience. Craft a subject line that grabs their attention and entices them to open your email. So we'll click on add a subject. So we'll put that in there and MailChimp will give you recommendations based on what you've inputted here. And the second most important thing besides the subject line is their preview text. The preview text appears right alongside or right below the inbox, depending if you're on mobile or desktop. And so they'll see the subject line and then you wanna make it even more enhancing that they click open your email by adding in a preview text. And we'll click save. When then we're gonna get into designing our fabulous email. So let's click design email. MailChimp upfront says, hey, select a template. So we're gonna go into themes. I'm gonna select boutique. I think I like that one. And we'll change out some of the content and the colors. So let's make changes to this design. So I'm gonna go first, because I don't want that bright pink background. So I wanna click on style, then click on page, and you'll see this background color is that lovely pink. Well, I wanna change it to more of maybe perhaps a gray maybe a dark gray, something like that. Then inside our style, we wanna to go to the pre-header and do the same. Maybe we'll make that maybe an off blue, darker blue like that. That's fine. Where it says Valentine's Day bouquet special, that is located in the header. So we're gonna change that background as well and we'll change it to that gray, maybe a darker gray like that and click save. I know very boring, but we're going for business here. Uh, versus uh, a pop of color. And then what I did was I went over to Canva and I created a couple of uh, email headers, uh, images, so we can pop those in here. So there we go, success with marketing. And then we want to change out our text here to be uh, business forum. And then in the text below that, we want to change that out as well. And we'll just paste that in there. 
like so. A second image will replace, click inside the image there and we'll click on replace again and we'll upload another image on that one. There we go. And then I'm just gonna put in some text here to swap this out, something like that. And then for the lower half here, I'm gonna be cutting this out. Additional changes to our lovely newsletter. You can see it's all kind of blue and gray, very bland, but very business-like, I think. And so our call to action is clear and concise. It is registered today for this business forum that's happening in September. And we're in preview mode right now, and we're just taking a look at it. So it's in desktop and mobile. I do notice that my on mobile, my image is very tiny. So I'd probably want to go in and, and change that. Uh, but for now, since we're just doing a demo of this to show you how you can create awesome emails, we're just going to leave that as is, and we're going to click out of our preview, and we're back in our dashboard of our email, and we've got everything got going for us. And over on the right-hand side, we get to see a preview of what our email would look like. And again, we can preview it again. We can send a test email. That's something that I recommend so that you get to know what it looks like in your actual inbox, because there might be some anomalies, especially with Outlook, hint, hint. You can also send it to other users so that if they have a email provider that you're not familiar with and you want to see what they look like or other stakeholders in the email that you're sending out, you'd obviously send it to them and with maybe some instructions that you want them to go and test, you know, click the link, where does it go, any issues, that type of thing. So that's the test email. If we scroll down a little bit further, I just want to draw your attention to sharing your email link. I have Facebook and Instagram connected to my MailChimp account. So if I were to turn that on, it would go and I'd select the page. We'll do this page right here and it would default by the name of our subject line with the URL to this newsletter. So that's something that you could certainly do. And I would recommend adding in an image so that it shows up on social. I'm going to cancel that for now. And then the other option that I would recommend is tracking. And by default, MailChimp does the tracking options. They do track opens, track clicks, e-commerce link tracking. If you have an e-commerce store connected to your MailChimp account, such as I do, and also Google Analytics link tracking. You want to name the, the Google Analytics link tracking something more descriptive than email campaign that was sent on this date. So in this case, I'd probably want to do business forum registration and maybe the date. And maybe if it was a stakeholder, I'd say what business it was, but something a little bit more descriptive than email campaign. Click save. So we can just do a review here on the dashboard of our email campaign. And we've got our subject line, we've got our to, we got our from, we've got our send time. There's an option there to either schedule it because I'm on a paid plan or Maybe for you, if you're on a free plan, it'll just say send now. So we're good to go. Final option here is to send. Send it out to your recipients. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more about MailChimp, check out a couple of these videos right here that I think are something that you can enjoy. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.